Hi guys, welcome back. It's Nadine. Um, thank you guys for stopping by. I want to share my um, revamp I did on our kitchen. And just to give you a backstory why I decided to uh, paint the kitchen. Um, for those who are new on my channel, um, welcome first and I thank you for stopping by. Um, I've been renting this place for a little over six years now and I've been praying for the past three years um, that um, we'd be able to get our own home and um, it hasn't come to pass yet. Uh, for those who don't know me, I am a Christian. I do pray and read the Bible and um, I decided that it's time for me to start being content and happy with what God has blessed me with, which is this home. No, it's not my own home, but this is home for now. Um, I could be in a worse situation, which um, I'm not. I'm in a good situation, but I really prefer to have our own home. Um, before we moved from, before we moved to Massachusetts, we lived in Atlanta. We had we had our own home there, but um, the cost of living here is a whole lot higher. So I just continue to pray and believe that God will, you know, work it out for us. But um, the whole reason why I decided to start making this house, this rental, into something that I love is because I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with the living situation. Our, our apartment is very dated. I mean, it was built in 1935. Um, and I don't think it's been upgraded since like 1960 maybe. So, um, I decided, you know, because this is my home, this is my office. Like I tell my husband, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and this house is my office, and I need my office to reflect the way I feel, and I don't feel happy <laughs> with my office space, which is the whole house. So, I decided that I'm going to update this place. Um, and make it something that I will enjoy coming home to. Um, I'm learning to be content of what I have and to be thankful and grateful because, again, my situation could be a lot worse when it's not. Um, for those who are renting and you want to spruce up or change uh, where you rent it, please, please, please make sure you check with the landlord, landlady, owner, and get a get permission before you do this because you know this is their property, not yours. So you want to make sure you get permission from your um, landlord, like I did. So um, I started off doing the foyer, which is basically, um, I'll, you know what? I'll I'll link the video down below because I did a video on my um, foyer entryway uh, makeover. So I'll link that. Um, then I moved on to the living room, which you will see in this video and then I did the kitchen and so I will give you more information um, of what I did but here it this is. This is my foyer as you know I redid it if you haven't seen it you can just tap this eye over here and um, but let's take a walk this is how we enter our house this is my living room I painted the living room also um, I didn't do a video of this I didn't think it was necessary I have very squeaky floors so I'm very sorry I live in a very old house it's a rental so, um, but this is our living room. Um, just a side note though, this is our couch. Horrible. But praise God, Thursday we are getting a sectional. We are getting rid of this hideous thing and getting a sectional because we are a big family and we need more space. Now the only reason we, I would never buy a recliner, but the, at the time, the only thing that would fit up here was a recliner because I put my parts because our doorways are 29 inches. Which used to be back in the 30s, now doorways are 32 or larger in the open concept, which I do not have. So, over here is the computer area. So, but let me show you the next project. It's in here. This is my kitchen. It is very dated. I mean, I got stainless steel appliances, <laughs> well, some of them, but it's very dated. And so, we decided that we are going to paint the kitchen and the cabinets. Um, today. In there is my pantry. I love my pantry. That's another video. That's the bathroom. I hate the fact that the bathroom's in the kitchen, but again, it's a rental. But it makes me know what to look for when it's time to get a house. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are going to clean all the cabinets today and degrease it. I, bought it, I did some research and um, everyone recommended this, which is called um, TSP. Um, 
It's a liquid cleaner. It's a this, um, all purpose heavy duty cleaner, uh, especially made for cabinets when preparing to paint. So it gets all the grease and gunk off of it. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do some other things in here. Like, I don't know what type of countertop it is. I just know it's old. So um, I'll get, I'll do another video of what I do to the cat, to the countertops and the backsplash. So, well, maybe I'll just include it in this and we'll see. But yeah, so this is our next project, the kitchen. So we're gonna paint it and then paint the cabinets and do some other fun things in here. So guys, just stay tuned. Clean and videotaping me. Good morning, guys. I'm outside my back porch, and back there is my kitchen. As you can see, it's prep and ready to paint. It's about 5:45 in the morning. It is so hot here, so that's why I'm trying to do it early in the morning while it's still kind of cool. Cause it's supposed to get to 92 today, so. I'm gonna start painting, and um, I got on my painter clothes. I always wear the same clothes, you know, to paint because that way I'm gonna ruin a lot of clothes. So um, that's a tip. <laughs> um, if you use um, whatever you use for paint, just to wear, just keep them and call me painter clothes if you know you're gonna paint some more. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So I'm about to paint, but I want to show you um, something that I got. I got a paint sprayer. This is called the. Um, let me show you the box. A super paint sprayer um, by Home Right. Um, I sorry for the glare. I got this on Amazon. It was sixty-five dollars. It's funny. I've been asking for one of these for like two years, <laughs> and I finally got one. And um, as you know, I research everything, so um, I checked out different ones. I checked out Wagner um, and this one, like four or five different type of Wagner ones. And this one is the one that I feel will work best for me. So I'm gonna fill up the paint and then we'll get okay, started. Okay guys, the color I'm using is Silver Mine. Um, it's the same color we did in the living room. I just did a test pass just to see. And um, now I'm not gonna show you me doing the whole kitchen um, painting because it's just a lot of work and I'm trying to hurry up. So I'm sweat to death. So. Um, as you can see, I have wooden trim up there, and I, n I didn't mask it off because this is such a close to a white, and I plan on trimming, painting the trim white, so I'm, I'm okay if I get a little paint on it, but I know it's hard to tell on camera, but it looks good so far, so I'm going to finish up, and then when I'm done with the kitchen, at least painting the whole kitchen, and I'll let you see it. Okay, so I'm still painting. I don't know if you can see the difference on this wall and the yellowish off-white color there but um I just want to give a quick tip um if you don't have gloves like you know disposable gloves the best thing you should do cooking spray just spray it on your hand and your arm or just a thin layer and rub it in I know you're like this is crazy but it works so when you're painting when it's time to clean up it just wipes right off so I always put cooking spray or a thin layer of oil if you don't have cooking spray, baby oil, olive oil, any oil you got. Just put a thin layer on your skin and when you're done painting, it will come right off compared to again a, something to scrub it off. So that's a tip for you guys. So back okay, to painting. So I'm done painting the walls, I think. Um, you can see behind me. Uh, yeah, it looks good. I like it. Again, I'm not trying to be perfect because, you know, it's a rental and I just want it to be nice enough for me to be happy. So um, now I am about to tackle the cabinets. Um, okay, as you can see, I labeled the cabinets and I also created a map. Um, so I have an idea which each cabinet goes to. I put, um, I guess, like it says, toaster and stove, so I have an idea which cab where it goes in the area. So like this is 9, 10, 11, 12. You see 9, 10, 
10, 11, 12. So, um, I am going to take the cabinets off, um, sand them, and then we're gonna start painting them hopefully tonight. Um, so stay tuned. those drawers out but my kitchen is a hot mess oh my gosh it's so messy put all the cabinet drawers out this one i don't know what they're doing to build this house but it's the back of the dishwasher so yeah let's go through there um yeah so all my fronts are off and so we are going to Degloss everything and we're gonna purge some stuff too. So, yeah, what a mess! But you gotta make a mess, you get to be beautiful. See you guys in a minute. Faces of the um, cabinets are painted and dried. Um, we are putting um, granite countertop there. I'll show you what we're doing. I'll explain all that later. Um, so yeah, so we painted all over here, um, over there. I kind of messed up that right there, so I'm gonna have to paint that. No big deal. And over here. And as you can see, we got doors over here, all in there in the laundry room. Those are doors. So today we are going to put the handles on and put the doors back. Um, we are going to change these floors out eventually. <sighs> it's a long process, but we're getting it done. Stay tuned. so ready to show you our um, revamp kitchen. Two and a half weeks of hard work really pays off. But first, I want to show you our living room. Remember that ugly couch? Well, we got a new one. We got a new sectional, and we love it. And because our space is so small, 
we configured it and put it this way. This is actually six pieces because now they make marginal um, furniture for people who live in small spaces. And our space isn't that small, but our doorways are small because our doorways are 29 inches. And I think now the average doorway is 32 inches or bigger. So we love this. It works. Uh, we had a coffee table. The kids removed it. Um, we also got a new area rug to put in the space. This one is not connected, so if they want to get back there, which they hardly go back there, just go back there for like craft stuff. We can um, move it in and out. So, but we love it. We love the fact that we all can sit in here and be comfortable. Um, my next project is to paint this TV stand. I'll soon get a new one, but I really like this one, so I just plan on painting it white and put new hardware on. So, but enough about that. Let's see the kitchen. Let's see the beautiful light. And I mean, is it not bright in here or what? <laughs> I love it. It's so bright. Painting cabinets really make a big difference and the wall. So we painted the cabinets. We put uh, new countertops. We put a new backsplash. It looks so good. So now I know you're thinking, okay, she lives in a rental. Why would she pay with her own money new countertops and new backsplash? Well, here's the thing. This countertop is actually a sticker my old countertops are underneath but this is a sticker I mean if you look closely right there see that line that's the seam it comes in rolls and this is the pattern we picked it comes in hundreds of different patterns granite top looking um, I believe they have um, stainless steel looking uh, concrete I mean they may have butcher block looking. I'm not sure but you can look into it but Oh my gosh, when I saw it, it's like, oh yeah. So we, so this is just a sticker. So when we move, we just peel it up, no big deal. And the backsplash is also a sticker. They come in, um, they're called, I think they're called stick tiles. Again, I will leave all the products, everything I used and bought, I'll leave in the description box if you want to try to get it yourself. But yeah, this is all sticker. I mean, beautiful. You would never guess, it looks so real. But yeah, we really love it. It looks so good in here. Uh, we put new hardware, new um, doorknobs. I even painted the hood vent because it was just nasty off-white. And when everything was done, it just didn't look good. So we painted this black. Um, I even got creative <laughs> and painted the inside of my drawers. This light, light lilac color just to give it a little fun. So, you know, so I'm just surprised. But yeah. It looks so good. Like, see, you can tell the stick. Look, this, the, this is where we messed up, you know. But we were okay with it because um, we just cook over here, you know. But we love it. Um, I got rid of my calendar, and I got this from Hobby Lobby. Our family, a circle of strength, founded on faith, drawn by love, kept by God. Um, it was originally twenty nine ninety nine, but they had to sell fifty percent off, so only paid fifteen dollars. So, but yeah. The best thing is this. I always had this empty space and did not know what to do with this. So I was actually researching storage ideas and I came across this woman's video. I will link her video down below if I can find it. And she was saying, if you have a small space between your fridge and a wall, put a bookcase. So I found this bookcase in Ikea. It fits perfectly. I was so happy because I measured this thing like three times to make sure it would fit. And I got the bins from Home Goods. And it has all the kids' snacks and fruit, and this one is empty. And down here, I decided to put my bags in here. Um, I try to keep it in my car, but I, I just it works better here. It just looks so good. We are so happy with the space. Got a new clock that is from IKEA. I mean, we we went so far we actually lifted up the sink and we put a new um, got a new sink. And that way we can put the marble sticker down so it would look even more professional. Um, we got a new mat. I believe that came from Costco. But yeah, guys, this looks so good. We are so happy with it. Um, so yeah, if you try to do your kitchen and you're in a rental, this is the best way to go. So guys, what do you think? I am so proud of myself because that was a lot of work to redo that kitchen. I mean, oh, if you ask if I'll do it again, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I tell you, if you really want something, you know, 
and you're on a tight budget, you can find ways to make it work, you know, and that's what I did. I I researched, everyone knows Nadine is a researcher. I research everything, you know, and I am just so excited and thrilled of how it came out. I think it came out great. Is it perfect? No, but again, like I say, it's perfect for me. And at the end of the day, if it makes you happy, that's all that matters and I'm happy. So um, I just love the way it turned out. Um, and I, <laughs> the most thing I'm so thrilled about is that, I mean, it really doesn't have to do with the kitchen, it has to do with the living room, that couch. I mean, you guys saw that couch. I mean, I'll put a picture right here. Horrible, oh, that couch is horrible. I mean, there were days I told myself, I really just want to throw it off the porch and just, just sit on the floor. That's how bad it was. I just hated it. And, um, but, you know, we researched and we were patient, you know, and I'm just so thankful <laughs> they finally make marginal sofas that can get up into tiny spaces. And like I said earlier, my doorway is only 29 inches and the average doorway now is, I think, 32 or higher. So, um... I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I would, I, I mean, there are times I'm like, oh, I can't wait till this is over and just see the end result because like I said, you, you have to make a mess before it become beautiful and now it's beautiful and I'm just so thrilled about it. Um, I think the next thing we're probably going to do is, um, the bathroom, <laughs> the downstairs bathroom. Um, that's, that's one thing I just, I hate is the fact that the, the bathroom is literally in the kitchen. But that's another video. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. I love to have you as a subscriber. Just click that red button down below or just click my face somewhere over here. And please, please, please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. If you like DIYs or if you, ha you, know, if you have a suggestion that you want to see me do, you know, please put it in the comment section and please put on your notification bell so you know when I put up a video. Thank you so much for watching, and guys, until we meet again, have a very blessed day.